Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, people on YouTube. And welcome back to William in Japan as we leave Ryukyo. If you directly translate that, it is the Dragon King's Gorge. Well, as cool as a name as that, unfortunately, we will not be exploring the river valley, at least for today. We are now around the Kinugawa Hot Springs and it is November so maple leaves and autumn leaves are on this show. So today we will be heading to another Momiji line. Momiji means directly maple leaves or autumn leaves. So let's hit the road and enjoy the scenery. See you in a bit. Alright, welcome back folks as we enter Route 19, the Momiji Line in or around the Kinugawa Hot Springs. I actually had been here once, took out the GoPro, and recorded the whole road way back when we were still riding on the Super Sport. But unfortunately, GoPro was not really cooperating with us. There was completely no sound. Well, looking at the bright side, because of that, we're here again and in the proper season. Wow. The leaves definitely looks great. Route 19 itself travels from Kinugawa way into the Nasushiobara Highlands. If you take the whole road, it can be a roughly 50 minute ride. Today, I think we're going to stop in the middle around a little hot spring area again. Not the Kinugawa hot springs, but way more inside the mountains. But that will still give us roughly, I think, 35 to 40 minutes of a night long ride. which should give us a very good idea off the road and enjoy the scenery wow gorgeous Are a bit late. Scenery could be the leaves at least has fallen off quite a lot as you can see beside the roads. Bit unfortunate but we're still seeing green here and there so it isn't that bad. Maybe in two weeks it'll turn completely brown. It's definitely too late to enjoy the scenery. We are indeed heading into winter. Autumn itself kind of disappeared, at least in Tokyo this year. It was extremely hot. We didn't get much nice weather. It was rather raining or scorching heat. So yeah, not a great year for riding. But at least we can catch the snippet last part of autumn like we are doing now a 
A few updates I would like to provide to you guys. First of all, is regarding the day job. Believe it or not, next year in 2025, I may be leaving Japan due to a real reallocation that's almost 100% going to happen. Uh, we will be leaving Japan and leaving behind these three beautiful bikes in my garage. I of course would love to bring them along but without deciding where to live or at least haven't decided where I'm going to live next if I have a garage if it's even feasible to export and import the bikes it's very hard to say what will I be riding next year or even if I will be riding it's a bit unfortunate Japan it is a great place to enjoy riding manners are great hooliganism isn't a thing or well, at least not as much you won't see anyone doing wheelies barely anyone scraping their knees and because of that motorcyclists as a whole with other road users has a very nice and uh, respectful way of treating each other so yeah the next country I don't know if that will happen or not but definitely I don't think it will be on par as Japan well this will also mean uh, this might be the end of the channel very soon I don't know if I get to ride I definitely will continue to ride the channel name definitely has to change though this is William in Japan <laughs> if I'm not in Japan it definitely should be a different name I haven't decided what to call it yet though we'll see we'll see Also another update is regarding the bikes themselves. So I had always been pondering, yes my garage can fit a car and three bikes, but it's pretty much a hassle to move them around. I kind of think I need to get rid of one of the bikes, but it has been a very hard decision of what or which I should be selling in the end I decided it is the Ducati 740R that needs to go why well because I need a bike for commuting at least until I leave Tokyo of course and the other bike belongs to a family member so yeah that is not up for me to decide so streets triple stays thruxton of course stays and we need to say goodbye to the ducati it has been a very very short ownership if i may put it that way it is indeed one of my dream bikes that i really hope to keep but with the reallocation thing coming up I don't think I have much of a choice. Both of my bikes should go, since I won't be riding them anytime soon, if I didn't get to export them to the next country. So, well, I'll start selling the Ducati first. After the Ducati, we'll see how we can take care of the Street Triple and the Fluxen.
All right, although it is a Friday, I did not expect so much traffic in a road like this. This is definitely not a touristy route. It leads to, well, yeah, it leads to another town, I guess. This definitely isn't a main road for transportation. And we definitely are getting some traffic here and there. White solid line in the middle. Definitely means no passing. Hopefully they turn off into one of these parking lots. No? Yes? No? Okay, only one. One did. Let's keep our hopes up. We can pass them very soon. Okay, looking at these numbers, they are definitely locals, so... I guess this is a transport line, major transport line for people then. But this also gives us a good chance to enjoy the autumn leaves. But yeah, looking at this, heading up the mountains, most of them are already gone. We are roughly two weeks late, I think. Yeah, it's all gone here. But we still have 16 kilometers of twisty roads to enjoy, so hopefully we can pass this car very, very soon. Curve 21. Okay, we already did 21 curves. Definitely quite a nice road. I can pick up the pace, roughly 30 kilometers more. <laughs> I think we will be enjoying ourselves way more. It's kind of hard to stay behind a slow car like this. Not sure if there's any way to pass them. Wow, the pavement is really good too. It's definitely better than the roads we explored last time. There are cracks, uh, nothing major. Kind of hard to understand when at least the munici municipal government is deciding where is or where should be a solid yellow line where it can be a white line so you can pass I really don't know how they decide things because it's not like like it's bad vision or anything it's not perfect but there are some spots I think you can provide people for overtaking Right, curve 28. Hmm. You know what? 
if the center line disappears, I'm going to overtake. If there are no signs and the pavement was not resurfaced, sometimes the center line disappears. So technically, I think I can overtake. Let's hope there is somewhere that's like that. Wow, the leaves are all gone here. Oh, thank God. Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. Every time I'm on the street triple, I have to say say this. The frame, the suspension, and the Road 6, them all coming together just feels so good. I don't know what Michelin did with their tires. It's like black magic. They last so long. They don't square off, and yet, the side grip, the sidewall grip is great. It is just incredible. Ah, unfortunately we can't another car. Wow, it's a Friday guys. Why is there like tons of tourists? Is everybody taking a day off like me? Like heck. Ah, such a pity guys, such a pity. This road was so great when it's open. And it's not like just this direction. We're having a lot of traffic coming towards us too. Ah, this is such a pity. Last time when I was here, there was no one. Maybe because of the autumn leaves, people are starting to come here. Although they're late, I guess. Why are we stopping? Oh, come on, why are we stopping? Let me through. This has become a very frustrating video. Oh, thank God. Thank you, sir or ma'am, I can't see. Whatever, but thank you so much. Thank you, so we can actually enjoy the road. Goldwing, CBR650, I don't know what's the last one. Oh, we're getting a bit of rain. It was sunny down when we're still in the plains. But we're getting a bit of water here. Thank you. Everybody's so nice here. Thank you, sir. Yes. Oh, 
definitely getting colder. What is it? Oh, seven degrees? Okay. It is definitely getting cold. No wonder these are all gone up here. But nothing the road six can't handle. This is why this tire is just so great. I myself might be a bit underdressed, especially with the gloves I have. Thankfully with the heated grips, so far so good. But if we continue to climb, I'm not so sure. Here are so nice. I can't believe it. Just let me hear right as I catch them. Incredible. I was definitely heading downhill now. Let's bleed off a bit of its speed. Ski resort. Okay, so it does snow enough in the winter here then. kilometers until that hot spring. I bet there's no one there. This is way too remote to actually run the hot spring hotel I think. Okay now we are at Nasushiobara. So cross into another prefecture, I think. And definitely onto the highlands. And since, you know what guys, looking at all this traffic, I think it's uh, just gonna be very boring for you guys. So let's call it here. I would definitely be continuing down this road, but um, this won't be fun. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me. This has been William, and see you next time. Bye bye.